Hello, we're now past the solstice, so it's summer however you measure it, and there's plenty of summer-like weather around at the moment, blue skies and high temperatures. However, we all know there are more elements to our summer weather, and we're going to see more of those in both the short term and the longer term. High pressure, though, is dominating at the moment across the UK. There is a weather front bringing more cloud and a bit of drizzle across the far north of Scotland. But actually, in the shorter term, it's this weather feature we need to be more concerned about, marking the boundary between some really warm and humid air, a, a plume of hotter air that's drifting northwards and is likely to spark some thunderstorms initially over France, but then drifting northwards during Thursday across parts of the UK. So we have a Met Office yellow thunderstorm warning in place covering much of England and parts of Wales. Not everywhere in the yellow zone is going to see those thunderstorms, but where they do occur, they're likely to be heavy, torrential rain and large hail and gusty winds accompanying them. Now, as I said, it's not going to be everywhere that sees those uh, downpours. And I just want to highlight the highest temperatures on Thursday because still plenty of heat around across northern England and the Midlands. We could push up to 30 Celsius, but it won't be as hot across the south because it's here where there'll be more cloud. And that's where we've got the greatest risk, certainly initially, of the thundery showers. Still pretty warm across eastern Scotland, a warmer day in southern Scotland. Uh, not particularly warm still across northern Scotland, where we do have that weather front sitting around. And actually, that secondary weather front across the far northwest becomes the more important player as we look at the medium term. The risk of thunderstorms from this one during Thursday, but this weather front is a cold front and it introduces the cooler air, pushing away the warmth and the humidity as we head into the weekend, certainly by Saturday, much cooler air across all parts of the UK. So it is turning cooler into the weekend, and with low pressure sitting nearby, you can always guarantee it's also going to turn wetter and spiralling around this low pressure system. We're going to see bands of showers drifting across the UK. And notice the low isn't moving very far very quickly, pretty close to Northern Ireland. So plenty of showers here, and the showers will be focused across western areas, whereas parts of the east may not see too many showers at all during the course of the weekend. Definitely driest and brightest across the east and pleasantly warm in the sunshine over the weekend where we see it. And we will see sunny spells between the showers and it won't be as hot, it won't be as humid as it has been over the past few days. That trend is likely to continue into the new working week as well for Monday. And this next graphic shows that trend over the course of Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday with the uh, likelihood of precipitation, rainfall, more focused across the western areas. This is a snapshot of that 72-hour period, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, of the rainfall from the main three computer models that we tend to look at, the uh, Met Office model, the European model, and the American GFS model. And all are highlighting with those yellowy green colours, the heavier rain likely across western areas, Northern Ireland, Wales, Southwest England, particularly over the hills and mountains, whereas all three just the bluey greens there across the eastern areas, suggesting not much in the way of rainfall likely here. So that east-west split shown up by those three main computer models over the course of Saturday, Sunday and Monday. And probably similar trends as we go well into next week as well. Why are we seeing the shift in weather? Well, of course, we're seeing a shift in the jet stream. The fast-moving ribbon of air high up in the atmosphere is currently well to the north of the UK, which is why we're under the influence of high pressure. But we're going to see uh, a couple of things. The jet stream's shifting south, and it's also buckling or changing its orientation. And we call this orientation of the jet stream a more amplified weather pattern. And when the jet stream's going more up and down, it means the weather systems become more slow-moving. Hence, why the low pressure sitting in this trough is hanging around through Saturday, Sunday, and probably Monday as well. We may see a bit of a shift on Monday as the jet stream buckles slightly, but actually what tends to happen or what looks like it's going to happen is just we get the same pattern setting up through next week, just a, a different low. But again, you get that dip in the jet stream, meaning that low pressure will become slow moving. So the where the trends for next week look like being dominated by a slow moving area of low pressure out to the west, higher pressure away to the east. And with the low pressure sitting close, that's going to send further spirals of showers around the UK with the winds always coming in from the west or the southwest, which will bring relatively warm air, but of course, moisture-laden air coming in from the Atlantic. 
I'm going to show you again one computer model run here of the pressure pattern likely through uh, Tuesday night and into Wednesday and it shows low pressure here the UK here this is just uh, one computer model run what we call the deterministic model run of the ECMWF uh, computer model the European model but of course for these medium to longer range forecasts, it's perhaps more useful to run the computer model several times, and then we can get what's called an ensemble forecast. And this example is uh, quite interesting, giving the probabilities of temperatures across the UK. Now, when you run the computer model several times, you can generate these probabilities of certain weather events happening. And I've showing, I'm showing here the likelihood well, the probability of temperatures exceeding 25 degrees Celsius and uh, white means not a lot of chance of that happening on Monday or Tuesday with that cooler air in place. But as we look further ahead through Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, there's a, a signal developing here of those probabilities just rising up to around 40 to 60 percent across the southeast. So that's just showing that it's eastern areas that are more likely with those southwesterly winds to see those temperatures if we see some sunshine getting up high once more to 25 Celsius or more. And of course, in the southeast, we're closer to the hotter air and the potential for tapping into some of that uh, across parts of the near continent. So all in all, next week, dominated by low pressure to the west, which means, yes, there will be showers around. Those showers will be focused in the west, closest to the low, with the driest weather across the east. And of course, you don't need me to tell you at this time of year, the sun is warm. So when the sun is out, and it will come out even between the showers in the west at times, it will still feel pretty warm because those winds are not bringing cold air with them when they're coming up from the southwest. The likelihood of the highest temperatures, as we saw for that previous uh, map, is likely across more eastern parts of England. As always, stay up to date for day-to-day -day details and for more details on that weather warning that's out currently for the thunderstorms on Thursday, download our app or visit our website.